all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. Who shot y'all? Separate the weak from the ops. Leap hard to creep them Brooklyn streets. It's on, nigga. Fuck all that bickering beat. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen. Um, 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 I'm not. I'm gonna say this. Antonio Brown living with Tom Brady is newfound information, okay? I ain't know he was living with the man, playing with the kids, eating dinner with Giselle, you know what I'm saying? Probably playing Xbox before they go to bed. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know they was Thunder Buddies for life. This changes things. I'm officially off of the it's not gonna work a Tampa Bay bandwagon. This is gonna work beautifully. I Antonio Brown, Tom Brady is going to be dynamite, and it's gonna be hard to stop. Okay, I ain't know they was I ain't know they was this close. I ain't know it was this close. I ain't know Tom Brady then literally took Antonio Brown under his wing. And like I ain't know they you know, really leave it to Tom Brady to get along with Antonio Bro, bro. I, I I can't say nothing bad, man. Tom Brady's a smart mofo. That's some shrewd operating right there. Not even mad at him. I'm not even mad at him. This man just got one of the ten greatest wide receivers that ever lived. To buy in hook and sinker what he believes in. I mean, for real. It's one of these situations now where it's like when you friends, it works. Alright, when you're friends, it works. I didn't know they was this close. Uh, you know, okay. It, it, okay, Tampa. There you go. I'm wrong. I was wrong. Antonio Brown on the Buccaneers is gonna work. Okay, I didn't know they was Thunder Buddies for life. I didn't know they was playing Ring Around the Rosie. I didn't know they was playing Double Dutch together. I didn't know they went back like four flats on the Cadillac. I didn't know this. But now that I know this, I'll admit I was wrong. I don't see how it doesn't work. Antonio Brown needs Tom Brady. Tom Brady needs Antonio Brown, and most importantly, they're friends, which means that even if Tom Brady wanted to curse out Antonio Brown on the sideline, Antonio Brown may curse him back out, but they'll take it from each other. They can take criticism from each other, and that's the thing, because they're friends. Big Ben and Brown were never friends. Big Ben and Derek Carr were never friends. These two dudes love each other. So as far as I'm concerned, I think this is going to be a situation that it's like a match made in heaven because Mike Evans and, and Tom Brady just doesn't work. And I told y'all that I'll take my victory lap on that one because I told you Mike Evans and Brady weren't a good fit. Mike Evans, if you put Mike Evans on a lot of set the test, he will let you know he misses James. Yeah, the winning is cool, but that boy missed James. For real, if you said you could have the same record with Jameis, who would you ever have a quarterback, Jameis or Tom Brady? He'd take Jameis. Jameis got Mike Evans the ball and got him the ball where he could do dirt with it. Brady doesn't do that. I'm trying to, t I told y'all Mike Evans is going to be a bad fit with Tom Brady. The guy Antonio Brown goes into Tampa Bay, he's the number one guy. And it's not even close. The, the, the boy Mike Evans gets reduced to uh, a red zone target and the guy Chris Godwin whenever the heck he get healthy he ain't nothing but a slot receiver he a check down guy he an afterthought it's going to be the Antonio Brown show the Gronk show and when they get in the red zone Mike Evans gonna catch jump balls that's about to be what's gonna happen I did like I said when I'm wrong I'm wrong 
I don't mind coming on here admitting that I was wrong. There's been newfound information. A week ago when we found out Antonio Brown was going to Tampa Bay, I didn't know the man was living with him. I didn't know they was best friends like that. I ain't know. So, you know, it's like, I mean, if I had known that, I would I would have changed my tune. Because like I said, when you're friends with somebody, you can say things and you can do things to them that other people can't. And I think when it comes to Antonio Brown, he knows Tom Brady is the only reason he's on, he's probably in Tampa Bay right now. He knows the only way for him to get his career back is to make it work with Brady. So it's it's one of those situations where it's like he he he's he, I think he falls in line. I, I think he falls in line. I'm changing my tune. I mean, how can you hate a guy who you're going home to? Pause. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Jeez. I ain't know it was like that. I mean, they going to practice together. They driving to the facility together. I mean, what is this, a reality TV show? What are they, a tag team? What are they, Bubba Ray and Devon, the Dudley boys? What the hell's going on out here? I didn't know this. I, I ain't know. So, it is what it is, people. Big Fist has no problem admitting when he's wrong. Antonio Brown and Tampa Bay is going to work. And, you know, look, the Saints are still going to win the division. The Saints are still better. When Michael Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders get back, the Saints offense is going to be better. And that's that. It doesn't change anything. I mean, because coming in, all right, put it to you like this. Coming into the season, we all knew that the Tampa Bay offense is going to be good. All right, we all knew they had Mike Evans and they had Chris Godwin. All this means now is you swap. You, you basically got Antonio Brown and two serviceable receivers. One way or the other, we the offense is still the offense. So even when I thought Tampa Bay offense was going to be good, I still picked the Saints. Nothing's changed. All this means now is Tom Brady has somebody he could depend on. So we're going to see. We're going to see, man. I still think Antonio Brown is crazy. All I'm going to say is this, Tom Brady, be careful what kind of pets you bring into the house, bro. You know what I'm saying? Be careful what kind of pets you bring into the house, Tom. Antonio Brown is a snake. Antonio Brown's not a puppy. He's not a cat. He ain't no hamster. That's a snake. He may be cool today, but one day he go, he, he might snap at you. He might try and wrap around your arm. He might bite you. Just be careful, Tom. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you rock it with me. My name is Fist Vegas. And I'll prove this message.